Hi everyone! Did you know that you can create interactive maps using Microsoft SharePoint lists? Check this out! Cool, right? I'll walk you through every step to set up such UI using a normal SharePoint list and using list view and column formatting. Let me show you. Here I am in my SharePoint home site and what I have here in this page it's a list web part. Can you believe that this is a normal SharePoint list? Look at this cool geographic map that I have here. I have represented Europe and I can click on every specific country, a panel will show up with a link giving the chance to the end user to be landed on a specific SharePoint communication site, which is related to the specific country. It's pretty cool. I can click on any other country and this panel will show up according to the context where I click it. All right, let me show you now more in detail this, this list. If I click on site contents, I can show you this list, which is this one word map. Now, short parenthesis, Microsoft has changed the behavior how lists are opened in SharePoint. By default, when you click on a list, this will be open in Microsoft Lists directly. So as you can see, I have my map that here is visible. And when I click on all items, I have the classic list items here available. I can switch again back on the interactive map. And as we have seen before, when I click on a specific country, this panel shows up, giving me the chance to, to land on a specific SharePoint communication site. Say that if you don't want to, to deal with this behavior, what you can do is jump on a specific URL. You can go in the site settings of your SharePoint and site and then you can land on this page navoption.aspx as we can see from this URL. When you click on this link, when you tap the return button, you will land on this page and here there is this list insights. If you turn on show header, show header and, nav and navigation at true and then if you confirm when you click on the list, then this will be open in SharePoint. Now I will click on a word map. This will be open in Microsoft list because I need to clean the cache. Now, if I refresh by cleaning the cache, as you can see, I have now the SharePoint context. I have always the navigation of the, of the SharePoint site and I'm not dropping in the Microsoft lists experience. This is up to you how you prefer to open the list in SharePoint. But keep in mind that by default now the behavior is that you will be landed in the Microsoft Lists app. Here I can format my view and now I will give you an overview about this list. But before to do it, I want to show you another way that you have. You can use a query string, two parameters in the query string and this will give you the chance to open the list in SharePoint instead of Microsoft Lists. Here I have again the Microsoft Lists experience. Now next, now, next to, the to the URL I can add my query string and in this case I'm going to add focus mode off equal one and SW equal bypass. If you add this one in the, in the URL you will figure out that you have now SharePoint as a context. As a context. You, have the, you have the navigation of the SharePoint site and this is the old experience that we are used to work with. This is an alternative way just to make a short parenthesis because I am on this specific topic and it's good I think to expand this and clarify this, this concept. All right, now let's jump on the list I have created this view, but let's start from scratch. So first of all, I'm going to open the list view formatting 
directly in Visual Studio Code, so you will figure out about the JSON that I use to, to have such a geographic map. This is my JSON file. I have the Europe.json file open in Visual Studio Code, and this is the list view formatting. As you can see now, what I have in the row formatter, I have just a div displayed with the relative position, and down below I have another div which display an SVG image. And as a children, I have every country. Every country is a path property tag displayed as a country in the SVG. This means that here you can represent all country in this way by providing a title. The D property is pretty important because it is exactly the image that represents the country displayed in the image. And then you can add additional things like how you want to fill the country with which color I added and specified here, current color. And then the card, how it should be open it if you go over or if you click on the country. In this case, I have over, but in the experience of previously that we have seen is click. By clicking on the country, the panel shows up and then I can jump on the specific uh, SharePoint site for the specific country. And then down below, we can see all other countries. We have Croatia, Slovenia, Hungary, and Slovakia and so on, Italy. This is the approach that I use to represent it geographically my map using a SharePoint list. That's all you have to do. Let me show let me show you the end of this of this uh, JSON. It is this is the last country loaded in the image, and that's it. I added then a, a link. When you click on the on the country but you can add image you can add text text it's up to you it's totally customizable you can find this jensen in a link which i will provide in the description of this video feel free it's totally uh, free and uh, in, it's available also on my github account all right so now let me show you another thing. I have here the my SVG file and uh, what I can do here now show you where I got this geographic map. So there is a website called the Simple Maps and this provides you the geographic map of the world of Europe or Africa, North America. It's, it's very useful if you deal with this kind of map. So you have now two options if you don't want to represent the entire world, but maybe just one specific content. And this was exactly my case because I wanted to represent just Europe and not the entire world. But this is uh, what you can do. So you have other under other popular maps, you can jump directly on the continent or there is this uh, drop down button. When uh, you click on this one, for example, I can jump directly on Europe. And this is the map that I use it for my list. This is just one SVG file. Now, how I got a, a specific country. So to do that, you can download the, the map. I have done this locally, or you can work directly in the browser. It's pretty simple. I'll show you how I work it for this uh, list view column formatting. Let me drop the dev toolbar just below all right now i can get the element that i want let me get spain for example when i click on spain i can see now the tag path and what you have to copy is this one the property d when you copy this then you are able to represent spain on the map so you copy this and then if you jump on Visual Studio Code or any other editor, text editor that you want, where you have to paste this exactly here, where you see D, then you can drop here your property. You can do this by reproducing another continent if you want, but this is the approach that you can follow. Inside children, 
you have to add the country that that you want to display on the map and that's it then you can as i mentioned add a custom panel that shows up when you go over the country or when you click when you click on the country and you can then design the the element in this panel as you prefer you can add images you can add a video you can add a link a text and so on i added just to make it simple just one link and that's it this is how you can deal and work with this kind of list view formatting now let me go again back on the list uh, because in just few click i want to reproduce this just from scratch from scratch so you are able to to follow every every step all right let's start from scratch and let me create a new list to do that i'm going back on the home site and then i'm going to click on new here i'm going to create a new list and then i'm going to select blank list now i'm going to type europe and let's create this new list i have just the title here uh, let me add just one thing i can add for example italy let me save it you can add additional uh, columns as uh, you want and let me go now on uh, first of all let me switch the view going uh, in the sharepoint experience all right i am now in the sharepoint experience and let me create a new view to do that i have to click on the button drop down and then create new view and here europe I'm going just to be original by writing Europe. It's a normal list. Make this as a public. Let's create. All right. Now I have created this new list. It's time to go in the format current view. And then let's go on the advanced mode. And I have now my JSON that I can paste here. So I'm going to select everything. And then I'm going, I think I have to copy the entire and full json let me copy the full json let me go back and now it's time to pass the everything so what i can do here now it's, now going, it's on. going on preview and like for magic my list is here available so this is the experience by going over the country i have the panel that shows up it's up to you if you want to change this experience as i mentioned it, you can go on the custom card props open on event and then directly from here you can type click for example we are here on this czech republic so you can preview this again and now if i go here and if i click i can see czech republic showing up you see it's different experience if i go over the country in this case poland the panel shows up it's up to you how you prefer to open the panel then i can save i can click on cancel and now i have my gorgeous geographic map here available and then you can easily embed it in a sharepoint uh, in a sharepoint page let's do it together so let me go back again on the home page and here i'm going to create i can also edit this this page let's do this let me add uh, another list web part list of web part let me edit the web part and now let me select europe the view it is europe the new one that i created you can hide all buttons the common bar and i can then click on apply so the sites must be adjusted let me go with the medium maybe the all right now it's more visible i can close this one i can republish and here we go i have my app up and running i have my list which is available and i can interact with this all right we have seen how to use and take advantage by using a list view and column formatting creating incredible interactive maps if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button like comment and let me know what do you think about this feature i hope to see you next time